Hi there, here you're going to learn a little bit about the Toon Shader feature in iClone. I'm going to start off with this scene that has a few textured mushrooms and grass on the ground. Toon Shader can be found in the Atmosphere section of the Stage tab. You can see right away when I enable it that the scene changes slightly. The outlines of characters and objects become stronger, and the colors also change a bit. You can adjust the edge width by using the slider below, as well as the intensity of the edges. You can also adjust the color of the edges as well by using the color swatch below. You can adjust the threshold of the outlines as well by using the sliders below, although the difference it makes will depend on your other values as well. If you select visible intersection lines, the scene will normally get a lot darker, as there are more black lines present throughout the scene. To get the best results with Toon Shader, it's important to have a scene with as little texture detail on your objects as possible, to create a simple, cartoony, and energetic feel. To take the texture off this mushroom, I can just select it and go over to the Modify panel on the right. After that, I'll select each different material swatch and delete them. When I get to the Diffuse swatch, I'll just replace that with a solid red color I have saved in my library. If I want to spread those same material properties to another mushroom, I can use the eyedrop tool, select my first mushroom, then use the paint bucket tool and click on the object I wish the material properties to be transferred to. What I'm going to do now first though, is open up the same project that has all of the colors replaced already. When this project loads, I'll show you an example of a different technique with Toon Shader using the texture color feature. So now that I have my project loaded up, I'll go enable Toon Shader again. This time, notice that in the Silhouette Edge section, instead of color, I now have Texture Color, which means it will copy the color of the dominant texture of that object. The scene now looks a lot brighter and more cartoony. I'll zoom in on my character's face here to give a better look at the Toon Shader levels. The second slider on that line determines the extent of the darkest shading, if you raise that to a higher level, the scene will have predominantly dark shading. The second slider will determine the extent of the medium shading level. You can see the difference as I adjust it slightly. Just experiment a little for yourself to find the level and type of tune shading that you think is suitable for your project. I'll play back my project now. You can see that it has a brighter, happier, and more cartoon-like feel to it now.